not when I just tip my head back, not by certain angles. I want my hair to like always clearly be all the way down to my butt. That is why I'm taking hair to men's. Hi guys, it's Lana here. I have to say that slower because I realized that some people think I'm saying, hi guys, it's long hair. <gasps> which it is, but my name is Lana and I'm saying it's Lana here. So just to clear that out of the way, today I am back with another hair video. You guys ask about hair vitamins all the time. You wanna know, are they worth the money? Are they worthwhile? Do they work? I just can't imagine a world where vitamins would ever be bad for you. If you guys are happy to see me talking about hair growth again, then give me a thumbs up. That's all I need and that's gonna brighten my day. So for a while I was saying that I'm not interested in growing my hair out long, you know, I've reached a length that I'm happy with, but my issue started when I noticed that maybe my hair was thinning a little bit and I'm not sure why. I know there were some changes in my diet and also I was stressed, but also I was wearing a lot of very tight hairstyles, like very, very tight half ups and half downs. Also I spent a long time traveling where I was using products that maybe weren't the best for my hair, so I did notice that my hair was struggling a little bit because of that. Also I realized I'm gonna have to cut quite a bit off of my hair because the ends are really damaged and when that happens I'm gonna want to grow my hair out long again. I really want to grow my hair right down to my butt now. Not when I just tip my head back, not by certain angles. I want my hair to like always clearly be all the way down to my butt. I want to look like a Disney doll and also I just want it to thicken out and I don't want it to be so thin up here. I know some of you guys can relate so that is why I'm taking hair to men's. So this is the vitamin that I've been using. It's called Hair to Min. I don't want to shake it around too much because I feel like that's going to be annoying. So I'm going to try and hold it still. Hold it still, Lana. Hold it still. So. Oh my God, I just shook it again. I'm happy to be working with Hair to Min. I get so many emails from vitamin brands and I don't work with them. This is a brand that I have chosen to work with. I've done my research. I really appreciate everything that they stand for. And that is why I've chosen to work alongside them. They've literally not asked me to say anything. All they've done is ask me to speak about my experience. So I wanna know what I love about this is the fact that this is full of super antioxidants. This is not drugs, it's not chemicals. They actually say there are 100% drugs and chemical free. And I love the fact that when I read through the ingredients list, I know what these ingredients are. This is aloe vera leaf powder. This is Brahmi extract, rosemary leaf powder, stinging nettle leaf powder, horsetail extract, turmeric root, black pepper. It's just when I read through ingredients lists and I don't know what any of that is and it's all this, that, that, that this, the next thing, that's a no. This is a yes. They also say on the website that these ingredients are clinically proven to work. So I'm really excited for the results. They do also say on their website that they are effective for all hair types, because I do get a lot of comments from people saying, will this work on Afro hair? Will this work on Indian hair? Will this work on my straight hair? You know, I don't always have the answers for you guys because I can only test things on my hair. I'm just happy that on their website, they've clearly stated that this is effective on all hair types. These capsules are in capsule form and not gummy form. I've never taken gummy hair vitamins, chewy hair vitamins, anything like that, because because those are usually not vegetarian. This one is an entirely vegetarian formula and completely cruelty free. I can't believe that in this day and age, people even still need to point out that they're cruelty free because I feel like if you are not certified cruelty free, then what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing it and just why? Another fun fact, if you are off gluten, if you are gluten free, if you can't have gluten, if you're a celiac, these are gluten free. So you can't eat bread, but you can eat a hair to men. Party. I always wonder whether I should actually dip into the sciencey part. Some people are interested in it and they'll be really disappointed if I don't talk about it. I'm reading this all off the website, by the way, it's to save you guys time. So rosemary boosts cell division in the hair follicles, which stimulates them to produce more hair. Aloe vera is a moisturizing agent which conditions your scalp while reducing buildup. And if you didn't know, buildup can actually clog the pores of your scalp, which inhibits hair growth. So it's a really good thing when something 
testing says that it reduces buildup or cleanses the scalp. It also contains selenium and selenium is going to help reduce the damage from free radicals and also it boosts your immune system. If you have a deficiency in selenium then that has been associated with hair loss. So they've included the selenium in this just to make sure that you are healthy, your immune system is healthy. There's also something in this called lutein and lutein is going to help boost your levels of glutathione. Deficiency in glutathione is also associated with hair loss. So really boosting those levels is really going to reduce your likelihood of hair loss and should help your hair to look thicker. Stinging nettles, like we all know what stinging nettles are right? Like I used to get so many rashes from stinging nettles when I was a kid. I still sometimes flinch when I see it in an ingredients list but I know that it's so beneficial for us. So stinging nettles actually have anti-inflammatory effects, like weird right? And they actually also balance our hormones, both of which when combined together are going to help with our hair loss. I'm also hoping that with that balance of hormones hopefully I'll see like a reduction in my acne but that's just like my own speculation. But zinc is a mineral and I already knew how beneficial this is to your hair, your skin and your nails. Zinc is the one. Hair vitamins contains vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, B vitamins as in B1 which is like thiamine. Vitamin A helps your cells mature and helps repair scalp damage which is often caused by hair thinning and hair loss. Vitamin C boosts your own natural production of collagen. Collagen is what keeps you looking young. It's going to keep your skin firm as well so that's like a double whammy of benefits there. Vitamin Vitamin D says this wakes up dormant hair follicles allowing them to produce new hair because if you didn't know that you have a lot of hair follicles on your hair and they go through a cycle like each hair follicle will see a strand of hair from birth until it falls out again and I guess as we get older or if we're experiencing thinning hair then just some of those hair follicles they just said goodbye to the piece of hair that they nourished and they didn't produce another one. They didn't ever birth another piece of hair ever again. So those are dormant hair follicles. So if we can wake those up, then we can really encourage our hair to get thicker. So that's what vitamin D is doing. B1 is extremely nourishing. They are responsible for the metabolism of macronutrients and essentially they help the body to use the food that we eat. So biotin boosts the metabolism of fats, carbohydrates and proteins that are needed for thick hair and increased hair growth. Just to let you know that they do also have shampoos and conditioners that I have used. I have enjoyed using them. They are of course sulfate free and paraben free. They're not foolish. They know what's up. They know how to take care of your hair okay. So they promote healthy hair growth and strength in your hair. I didn't really want to talk about shampoos and conditioners in this video. I'm mainly talking about hair vitamins. You only need to take one of these every day so for me I'm happy with that like I can't remember to take pills usually so just one a day is good with me I took like acne pills one time I had to take one with every meal that was too much for me I couldn't do it this one is just one so I can wake up in the morning eat it with breakfast I can have it with dinner like whatever the case may be that fits in so much better with my forgetful ass personality so one a day and we're good one a day there they are so this is what they look like they're pretty small which I'm so happy about like I've taken other pills other vitamins that have been way bigger if you guys aren't used to swallowing pills like this then you will get used to it after just a few days just take a big gulp of water and just swallow it all down at once so they do recommend that you eat your capsule with a meal so I just had like a quick little something to eat and then I'm just gonna like swallow this down it's so easy I actually like swallowed it by accident. <laughs> it literally went down so easily. Anyway, it's gone, it's down. I've been taking those just for a few weeks. I've enjoyed taking them so far. I've definitely not been using them for long enough to be able to show you anything. So I don't even wanna pretend to show you something because that would just be like totally disingenuous. But what I will say is that I've been enjoying using them. I'm hopeful. Hopefully the proof will be in the pudding. I just really appreciate them for not using any sort of gimmicks or marketing campaigns. And it really looks like they've paid a lot of attention to their formula. It just really truly looks like they're wanting to take care of us 
and you know give us what we're asking for which is a healthy way to grow long thick luscious hair with all that being said hopefully i can come back to you guys finish the three months supply and i can show you guys exactly how thick and luscious my hair grew in that time so if you guys are interested to see how my results go with this then just let me know or get me on instagram my instagram is at lana summer l-a-n-a-s-u-m-m-e-r if i've piqued your fancy in hair to men at all then you can go over to their website it's hair to men com but don't go over there without checking out my discount code which will definitely be in the description box if you enjoyed it please thumbs up the video please subscribe to my channel it's right down there get me on instagram at lana summer and yeah i just really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one bye summer, 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 summer